Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is another beautiful fall day. You can see the the fall colors are starting to get on the trees over there on the opposite bank. Sun's coming up. We're out here pretty bright and early this morning. Um, it's about 40 degrees. Got down to about 40 degrees last night, but supposed to warm up to 70 today. So it's going to be a beautiful day out here. Um, going to fish uh, probably a couple different ways today, but I got some minnows this morning. Y'all seem to really like the minnow videos, so I'm going to do a little bit of slip bobber fishing this morning. I'm going to try to catch a few for dinner. We'll see what we can do. Y'all stay tuned. Start out by showing y'all my rig here, and this is, uh, this is the same setup I used three or four videos ago in my slip bobber rig, and I want to explain, I want to explain, uh, why I rig mine the way I do. I showed y'all how I rig it, but I didn't really explain exactly why I do it this way. So here's the basic rig. It's real simple. Uh, starts with a size number. I want to say that's a size number six. It's just a Mustad Aberdeen hook. Um, just a good little live bait hook. I've got six pound vicious 100% fluorocarbon right here, about 14 to 16 inches of it. And I come up to a barrel swivel. I've got a 1 8 ounce sliding bullet weight, like just like you use for bass fishing. And I've got my slip bobber. Now, obviously, when you're using a slip bobber, you have to have some kind of something on your line, some kind of a bobber stop. And that's just one of the little fabric bobber stops, just like you can find anywhere. They just slide on your line. You pull them down tight, and then you clip them off. You can use several different types of bobber stops. That's the one that I prefer. Now. My gear as far as rod reel line, okay, I'm using a seven foot two Mustad detector series rod, seven foot two light action, uh, super flimsy rod. It's just a lot of fun fighting these fish on that lightweight rod. 2,500 size reel, any spinning reel pretty much will do this. And I've got 10 pound vicious monofilament line, just simple, straight monofilament. Um, braid, I don't like braid for slip bobber fishing because it doesn't cast real well. It doesn't work real well with the, the bobber stop. When you reel it up on the reel, you try to cast it, it gets all tangled up. I like mono for this. I'm different. I know some guys use braid. I'm just telling you what works for me. Now, the reason why I go from 10 pound mono on my main line to this six pound fluoro leader right here. Number one, you're gonna get more bites with that six pound fluoro because the fish can't see it as well. Number two, if I'm fishing brush piles right here, okay? If I get hung up, my hook is what's going to get hung in that brush pile. This six pound leader will break off before this 10 pound monofilament uh, main line will. So if I get hung, all I'm going to lose is this part right here. I won't lose my bobber, my bead, my weight, my uh, barrel swivel. So all I'm going to lose, if I get hung, I have to retie that leader, put me a new hook on, I'm back to fishing. So, all right, we're going fishing now. Here we go. Got it. First fish of the morning feels like a pretty good one too. Just eased off with it. Yep, that's a crappie. Big black nose crappie too. Get up in here, boy. Look at that big fat sucker. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep six crappie today take them home and clean them and have them for supper tonight our kids don't eat them i got two little girls and the girls don't like them but me and the wife about six about 12 good fillets and that's a good size crappie i mean that's a 12 and a half inch crappie about six is about perfect for us so i'll try to keep a six of them but if we catch some more than that hey we'll just let them go because that's what we do good way to start the morning about the perfect eating size fish right there. Simple, easy fishing right here. All I'm fishing is just this big old tree. I mean, Stevie Wonder could find this tree. You don't even have to have a graph to find this. And catch crappie off of it. Simple fishing, but it's very effective. All right, here he goes, easing off. Got him. I like to just let them ease off with it. I've, I've seen a lot of people on videos, as soon as they see that bobber do something different, they're barreling down on him. But I, 
myself, I like to let them take it for just a minute. I mean, it's live bait, so they're probably not gonna let it go. I've had better luck if I just let them take it for just a second, maybe. I mean, I'm talking two seconds, maybe. It's another good black nose crappie right there. Not a great big one, but there certainly ain't nothing wrong with that. Crappie fisherman anywhere shouldn't complain about a fish like that. Pretty stripe running down his nose. Mm, there ain't nothing like it on a fall morning. Y'all see that tree right there in front of me, right? All right, right here is that limb coming down. And here's your school of crappie right here. So I'm just trying to cast and let my cast land about right in here. Fall right down beside that limb. Fall into that school of crappie. And that school of crappie sitting anywhere from about 8 to 12 foot of water right there on that limb. So that's what we're looking at. And if I didn't have active target, what would I do? I'd just make some casts in there until I got a bite, figure out what depth they were at. And then I would know. All active target does is just shortens your learning curve. Uh, you know, I know some people love it. Some people hate it more and more. As more and more people are getting it, more and more people are coming around to it. And uh, I just like to make it a point to kind of let people know if you don't have it, you can still catch these fish. There's one little spot right in there that if I can get that minnow in that little spot, I get a bite just about every time, and that spot is right in that little school. Here we go, we're getting a bite right here. Now he bumped it, he didn't, he didn't take it. A lot of times when they do that, I like to give that, give that bobber a little bump, just twitch the rod tip a little bit, kind of make that minnow come to life a little bit. A lot of times that'll make them fish suck it on in. Here we go. Got him. Turned that minnow around, hooked him through the lips, and he ate it. That is so crazy. Last time I was here, they wanted the exact opposite. Feels like a nice one here. Yep, another one about that same size. Well, he may be a little better than the first two I caught. He's a good crappie. Doggone pretty fish. Once again, about that perfect eating size. We having crappie for dinner tonight. That's three. You get me three more and then we'll start throwing them back. Here we go. Got him. Well, as soon as it got down in there to him that time, he smoked it. I'm having to talk him into it a little bit. I mean, just because you're using live bait doesn't mean it's automatic to be honest with you i think i might be able to catch these fish a little quicker if i was using jigs just because i can draw them out a little bit and make them chase the bait but it's fun catching them on minutes i like it i would definitely call myself a jig guy but i like to pull out the slip bobber in a minute every now and then too There we go. Looks like a good fish right here. This is a pretty shallow brush pile. This might be a bass actually. Yeah, this is a bass here. One thing about the live bait thing, you don't <laughs> really ever know what you're gonna get. This is a large now. Come here, boy. I knew that was a Pretty shallow brush pile. Boy, he's skinny. But I, I really do think there's a few crappie in there. There he is. I don't know what we got here. Might be another bass. If it's crappie, it's a big one. I can tell you that. Oh, this is a big old crappie. Sure is. I knew there was some crappie in there. I could just tell by looking at them. An active target. This is a good fish right here. Definitely the shallowest fish I've found. Lately, these aren't in, but about six foot of water. Oh, that's a pretty one right there. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, that little Mustad Aberdeen hook, when it gets them, it gets them. 
Ooh, man, there's got some fillets on him for sure. Number five, we need us one more for crappie dinner. Actually, five would probably be enough, but I usually like to keep six and cook about 12 fillets for me and the wife, and we'll usually have, uh, we'll have enough left over that tomorrow I can make me a crappie fillet sandwich. Y'all ever had a crappie fillet sandwich? If you hadn't, you need to, because they're pretty doggone good. Here we go. Got him. Mm. A heavy fish, whatever it is. Might be another bass. I don't know, though. I think it's a crappie. Yeah, another good crappie. Well, we did what we really came out here to do, and that's get enough for supper tonight. That's number six. That's all I'm gonna keep today. But I don't mean I'm gonna quit fishing because it's still early. I ain't been here but about an hour, <laughs> so I'm definitely not going home just because I got enough enough to keep i'm gonna keep on catching them we got one easing off with it got him another crappie i can tell by them head shakes boy these are some fighting son of guns right here i'm telling you loosen my drag up a little bit Oh, this is a big old crappie. I mean, it ain't big. Oh. Yeah, this is a big one. Might be the biggest crappie I've caught this fall so far. That's a big fish right there. Golly bum. Jeez. Y'all look at that son of a gun. Man, what a fish. Now that is a slab. I got a pretty good size hand. Look at that song gonna swallow my hand. It's gonna be over a two pounder, I can promise you. Let's see what he weighs. Check that out, y'all. 247. Now, I know there's parts of the country where that's not a real big crappie, but <laughs> in my part of the country, that's a dang giant, buddy. We're gonna get a couple pictures with that one. I'm gonna throw her back. All right, my, 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 what a beautiful fish. That's the biggest one I've caught so far this fall. 247, when that fish gets real fat, this winter that fish will go close to three pounds. It's a big old crappie. Watch her swim off. Man, what a beautiful fish. I've talked about it before, them great big ones like that. I like to let them go. They're a special fish. They, uh, we don't see them that big a whole lot in my part of the country. So if you guys are catching them great big ones, don't be afraid to turn those loose. Those are, those are cool fish. And I know everybody likes to take them home and knock the sides off of them. And I love eating crappie too, but you just don't see a lot of them great big ones. Let's go get another one. Here we go. Got him. Another pretty good one here. Feels pretty good anyway. I see that big old stripe coming up on his nose. That's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. Barely had him skin hook. Come here, boy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. We got him. Another pretty one. Like I said, it, it looks small after catching that two and a half pounder, but that's a good crop. Nothing wrong with that. You know, we talked about uh, letting those big crappie go like that, and I do. I like to let those great big ones over two pounders. I like to let most of them go. You just, you don't see a whole lot of those in my part of the country, but I had a comment on my last video. There was a guy, I wanna say he was, I wanna say this fellow was from Minnesota. It was one of the northern states, I know, and he said 
the uh, maybe it was Pennsylvania anyway he was saying that the length limits there was no leak length limit in his state and the creel limit was 50 per day on crappie and uh, I don't know guys he, he you know he and I kind of commented back and forth and he said he didn't feel right about that and I'll be honest I don't really feel right about that either I think uh, I think that's a little bit excessive I I just don't see where anybody needs to keep 50 crappie a day you know I'd, I'd love to know your guys' opinion and your guys thoughts on it in my part of, in, in this state Tennessee uh, our length limit is 10 inches and the creel limit is 15 per day and I feel like that's about right you know and, and even at that if you're a guy that gets to go two three times a, day, a week I still don't feel like you need to just stockpile your freezer with crappie now I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do you bought your license you've got just as much right to go fishing as I do you know as long as you stay within the limits of the law but I just you know with the advancements in technology nowadays I know I'm more successful of a crappie fisherman as I ever have been and I feel like most of you guys probably are too and I feel like as we're starting to catch more of these fish we really need to keep an eye on the resource I just missed a fish right there because you know at the end of the day they are a natural resource and yes I believe they were put here for us to enjoy and for us to eat whenever we want to eat some of them but I also feel like it's very important for us to be conscious of our fisheries and not to take too many of them and take more than what we can use all right guys we're gonna wrap it up with that one for that little video i'm gonna keep on fishing but um i think i got plenty to make a good video here man i hope you guys enjoyed that you know i you guys know if you follow the channel i'm a jig guy at heart i love throwing jigs i love feeling that thump but number one thing <laughs> the slip bobber and minnow videos do really well they get a lot of views you guys seem to enjoy those um and number two I, I do i enjoy watching that bobber sink i don't know it brings out the kid in me i, I enjoy it a lot and as you can see you catch a good quality fish doing it as well but if you guys have some ideas of certain crappie fishing techniques you'd like to see me do or any ideas of anything that i hadn't done that you got questions about drop them down in the comments um and i'll definitely take it into consideration because i'm i'm enjoying doing these i'm, I'm learning as i go you know um and that's what it's all about but appreciate you guys watching appreciate all the comments subscribe if you hadn't turn on that notification bell let's grow the channel and learn together that's what it's all about but thank you guys i'll see you next time right here Brad and lester fishing